Let's take a look at the properties of addition. Which property of addition is shown? We have C plus zero equals C. Okay, and our options are either commutative, identity, or associative. So commutative means when you change the order. So if they had swapped it and said C plus zero equals zero plus C, that would have been commutative property. Identity. Now think about that word identity. Identity is who you are. Who you are never really changes. So identity is the number that you can add that does not change the value. Well, the only number you can add to something that doesn't change its value is zero, right? C plus zero still gives us C. So this is an example of the identity property. Now associative, that is when they change the order by moving the grouping symbols. Okay, but in this case, we can see that it's gonna be identity property. Okay, A plus zero equals A. This is another example of identity property because notice when we add zero to that number, it does not change its value. It's still equal to A. E plus zero equals E. Identity property again, adding zero does not change our value. C plus zero equals C, identity property. Okay, this time we have E plus the quantity G plus M is equal to the quantity E plus G plus M. Okay, so the idea behind this is that we can add in any order without changing the value. But notice, instead of changing where the numbers are, they change the order by moving the parentheses. Right on the left, this one is telling us to add G plus M first. On the right, these grouping symbols are telling us to add E plus G first. When they change the order by changing the grouping symbols, that is the associative property. G plus the quantity A plus V equals the quantity G plus A plus V. Okay, well much like the last question, they're changing the order we add by moving the grouping symbols. This one tells us to add A plus V first and then G. This one tells us to add G plus A first and then V. Now, of course, we're going to get the same answer because you can add in any order, but since they're moving the grouping symbols to change the order, that's an example of the associative property. Okay, S plus the quantity A plus L is equal to the quantity S plus A plus L. All right, well, this is just like the last few we saw. They're changing the order by changing the grouping symbols. So that's going to be associative. Okay, this time, N plus E is equal to E plus N. So I want you to take a look at this and notice they actually moved or swapped the numbers, right? They put E where N was and N where E was. Now, this has the same meaning as associative, right? It means we can still add in any order, right? Two plus three or three plus two, doesn't really matter. They both give us five, but it has a different name when they actually move the position of the numbers. That would be commutative property. And the way that I like to remember that is that commute actually means to move, right? If I commute to work, I'm driving from home to work. If you commute to school, you might be taking the bus or maybe riding your bicycle to get from home to school. So right when you commute, you're moving from one place to the other. And that's a way that we can remember they're moving the order of the numbers for commutative property. U plus J is equal to J plus U. Well, again, we can see that they moved the order. So that would be commutative property. A plus H is equal to H plus A. Again, they moved those numbers, so commutative property.